Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we are going to look in at flashcards today. How we can create flashcards to help our students learn, particularly theory concepts. The website I want us to use is an artificial intelligence called Gizmo. It used to be called Save All, but now it's called Gizmo. So you're going to search for Gizmo AR in your browser and you'll find Gizmo. That's what you're looking for. The little star with the little eyes in it, that's the website you were looking for. And it looks something like this and we're going to log in. If you don't have an account, you can make one. It's free to you, so make sure that you create an account first. If you have an account already, you can sign in. If you don't have an account, then just, just go sign up if you want to create a Gizmo account. You want to create decks of flashcards. Maybe if you're a student, you want to create for yourself of all the content that you study. Or if you're a teacher, you want to create it for your students. So at the moment, I've already created some decks. You can click over there to add a new deck. So I'm going to click on add over there. And we're going to add a deck. So let's say we're going to make one on superheroes. So I'm going to call this superheroes. And at the moment, there's no parent deck. And I'll explain to you now what parent deck means. So we're going to add a deck. And you can see superheroes has been added to my options of decks. Now you can go change its color over here if you want to as well. You can pick one of the colors available. Go find a color that you like. I like the orange. Just keep with orange. And so you can either add cards to this deck or you can add sub decks. Maybe you want to break superheroes up into different categories. Maybe we want to create a Marvel sub deck and a DC sub deck. So you can actually create sub decks. And if I create one, for example, let's create one over here. And we're going to call this Marvel. The parent deck is superheroes. So we're going to add it. So it's almost like creating a folder so if I go to superheroes now you'll see there is a sub deck called Marvel which we can also change the color of that particular folder now let's add some cards to this Marvel sub deck so you can import stuff from YouTube or from web page it'll use the AI to try and work out what cards it can add or you can come here and just create your own cards and so here's where you would type in what you want your flashcard to be and as you can see the AI is already working ahead of me uh, trying to create some flashcards for me or automatically so who is Bruce Banner? It's already trying to work out what it is using the AR. So it can create those flashcards very quickly for you. So I'm going to make call this the Incredible Hulk. So that's my flashcard. So when I click on save the flashcard, adds it. Now if I scroll down, you'll see it's suggesting other cards that we can add if you want, which is quite nice. That's the beauty of this AI. It's coming there asking for suggestions. And over here, it's asking me what how, what words do we want to be quizzed on? We want to be quizzed on the word Bruce Banner and Incredible Hulk. So it'll leave out parts and we must fill in the other parts of the flashcard. So I'm going to add in a couple more cards quickly. So I've got to add a couple of cards there you can see. And we can then deselect words that we don't want to be quizzed on so in this case i just want to be quizzed on the stan lee part so i took those parts out so you can go and edit them maybe you want to have the x men as part of the quizzable words so you can actually select it as part of the quizzable words and then as i said they added suggestions here you can add them if you want so if we want to add a card we can do that let's add those too so we've got a bit few more cards to add so once you've added cards to your deck now i'm going to go back to home so now I've got this deck over here. When I click on it, I can then quiz myself. Now, if I quiz myself on superheroes, it'll quiz me on all the cards in every sub deck in the superheroes category. If I want just Marvel superheroes, now I've only got one category, but if I wanted, if I had multiple like DC and so on, and I went into Marvel and I wanted to just quiz myself on the Marvel ones, then I would click on that quiz over there once I'm in that particular sub deck. It's almost like folder structures. So let's quiz ourselves quickly. And so it's going to run these little quizzes there for us. Sometimes it'll be multiple choice. Sometimes we'll have to type in the answer, which comic, we know that that's Stan Lee. And there we've got it correct. So it's giving us a nice look as what color was the Hulk originally. Let's say gray. And there are hints that will reveal the answers if we get stuck. So which gained his ability through the use of advanced technology in the suit? That would be Iron Man, I would think. Or Tony Stark gained his abilities through a suit of armor. So there we go. So as you can see, that that's how you can try out the flashcards. And if you go back home, you can see your program progress about how many cards you've done now if you're a teacher and you've created these flashcards what's quite nice is you can go to your decks over here and you can actually share them and then once you share them you can then say so anyone with the link can view the cards and we click share and we now have a link that's copied so now what I can do now is I can take that link that I've copied and send it to my students I can ask them to make sure that they've got a gizmo account first once they've got an account and I've sent them that link then this superheroes deck will always be in their decks as well so if I add Add more cards to it later then they will also have access to the new cards because this will be one of the decks that they've registered technically for so that's a cool way for you to create flashcards for your students on particular topics to help them study for exams so go check out gizmo a really cool ai that you can use for your students teaching is a community so help the community by sharing at mr long teacher tips with your fellow teachers 
tell them to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.